Hey, I almost broke the washing machine. You hear it in the background because luckily I didn't and I have to wash what's washing and I'm really freaking scared because he just left for work and I hope what happened before does not happen again. As a distraction, I'm gonna make egg salad, but healthy version, I've never done this before and I hope it doesn't taste like ass. I am also not really a yolk girl. I'm very far away because I can't find my other tripod. Um, so I have you like on a table and yeah, anyway. I hate yolk. I have four eggs here. I'm probably gonna use one oak, oak, yolk. Got my eggs chopped up and I used literally one yolk. And am I tripping or does celery go in egg salad? Or am I making that up? Because I'm about to put like half a stock in it just cause I love the crunch. I should move a little closer like right here. It's gonna be a little weird, but well, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, we can do this. I'm gonna do some onion. If you don't like onion, I don't blame you because I used to not like it either. And also I don't know how to properly cut an onion. So don't look at it too hard. One thing I'm grateful for about growing up is my adult taste buds kicked in. And I like a lot of stuff that I didn't like when I was younger. I used to actually be really picky. And now I'll eat just about anything besides like a handful of things or like crazy exotic like stuff like pig's feet and like like stuff like that. Using the best pickles. Well, these and Clausen's are like my number ones. And the first time I ever bought these, everyone was saying how like when you open it, stuff gets everywhere. Well, it didn't happen to me the first time and now it's happening to me this time. And it happened to me with the spears. Look how big this is. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do four spears because I love pickles. And then I'm gonna also put in like a little scoop of this stuff. I bought this on accident because I thought I was buying the other relish, which I hate normal relish, but I, I forgot why I was buying it. But I actually got this one and I was like, oh, I didn't even know they made that. Hell yeah, brother. Do a little bit of celery stock, slice it down the middle. A little bit of the good stuff. Now this is where it's getting scary. It also said, I looked up a recipe on Google. It also said to add like parsley and fresh dill and this and that. Oh, I don't have this and that and I'm not going to go get this and that. So I'm doing with what I have. But is it like a fourth cup of this? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna add this much, which is a little scary. We're just gonna start with that because I also am a girl that puts mustard in her egg salad. Two different kinds, Dijon and French, I mean, normal. And that much of that. Skimmer a mixer I've been real active with the plain Greek yogurt. I've been making all types of stuff. I made ranch. I'm gonna be honest, the way I made it does not taste exactly right, like ranch, but I think it's really good. And I've eaten a lot of it. I made sour cream. Now I'm making this. Let's try some. Okay. That is really good. It doesn't have 7 million grams of fat in it. Let me toast some bread. Before I toast some bread, let me show you the little culprit of the reason why I almost broke the laundry machine. Cause she peed on the bed. I still love you. I gotta put some lettuce down. This is my new favorite way to buy lettuce cause it is just so convenient. It's the, this. It's great. And it fits just perfectly on here. This is crazy. I don't know why I never thought to do this before. Well, to be honest, I've always hated plain Greek yogurt, but now I just see the endless possibilities with it. 
and I understand everyone now. Okay, got me a little comfy spot on the floor. Got me some grapes. Mm. Got me my favorite drinks. I'm so obsessed with these. They're just so damn good. Mm. Seriously, delicious. This is really good. If you're watching what you eat or you just maybe don't like mayonnaise, which I personally don't like normal mayonnaise. I love vegan mayonnaise. I always have, I think I always will. I can eat mayonnaise from like fast food places and like restaurants and, and that. As long as I'm not physically seeing you with my two eyeballs, put, excuse me, real mayonnaise on something, I'm fine. But if I'm at someone's house or at my house, it has to be vegan mayonnaise. I don't know how people don't like fruit. My boyfriend doesn't, he doesn't like anything. Hey, it's the next day. I'm upstairs so I can actually talk normally. I'm still trying to be a little quiet, but not as quiet as I am downstairs because he's down there sleeping because he's got to go to work tonight. I washed my hair. I had to use our spare bathroom because our bathroom, um, all my hair has clogged up the drain. It's so weird using um, your spare bathroom. Like I had never taken a shower in there that I remember. Um, just like so much smaller than ours. I don't know, it was weird. I feel like I was like at a hotel. But um, I'm gonna build this before I eat some breakfast. I really want a matcha. I hate that our bedroom is like right next to the kitchen because I can't do anything. And when I do stuff, I feel so bad because I'm like, I'm probably so freaking loud. We're gonna build this. We already have one of these um, at the door, but I want to get two because the top is like, you know, wood and you can like put stuff on it. So I just think it would look really good with two of them there. Plus we have like a ton of shoes at the door. If you don't take your shoes off when you get home, what are you doing? Because I just think shoes in the house is so disgusting. And some people like every time I see people walking around their houses with the shoes on, with the with their shoes on, I'm like, oh, you're just tracking so much germs. And I'm just like, your house is like your safe zone and you should feel like you could walk around it barefoot. But I'm not about to walk around my house barefoot if you've been in my house with your outside shoes. That's gross. I wish we had a bathroom up here because then I could like make my matcha up here and be able to like clean my stuff in the sink and not make noise. I feel like I don't even need to read the directions. It's that easy. And I just did one of these last weekend, but I'll glance every now and then. And boom, got us another shoe rack. Let's go put it downstairs. We have this really ugly one next to the nice pretty one. So let's fix that.
was like not quiet at all. This is so good. Look at that beautiful color. Mm. And these look so good. Mm. These are the Vans protein waffles and blueberry with Walden Farms sugar-free, fat-free, yada 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 syrup. I'm sitting in the room that I'm about to tackle next. This is the room that we had. This is our guest bedroom. This is the room that we had our cat in. Um, and I want to make the bed up because it just looks bad and just put all the rest of the stuff away. It's not much to do, but making the bed is going to make it look a lot better. Well, actually, I can't even really do that right now because the sheets need to be washed. And I can't do laundry right now because that would be so loud. Ugh, it's just so annoying. It's much later now. I made food. It was so good. I made a bean and cheese quesadilla. I'm, I'm eating it with the Greek yogurt, sour cream, and some salsa and jalapeno. 